Well, it's been a little while since you've seen this car, and a few things have happened to it. Some of you that remember the car will already notice. And I'll just give kind of a once-over recap of what the car is and uh, what we're going to be doing with it. So, this is a 71 Roadrunner 383 4-speed. The 4-speed uh, pistol grip. I need to get a couple of pieces to help relocate that back to a factory position. I'm working on ordering those parts now. And then I'm going to go through, put the tunnel back in it, and then go through and probably paint the whole floor uh, with that POR 15 or something very similar to that. Um, as you can maybe see in there, the car was not originally orange, but that's what it got repainted to. And they, whoever did the bodywork and paint on this probably shouldn't ever pick up a paint gun again in my opinion, but hey, maybe that's just me. It's got some issues, but it'll be a good driver. It'll be a nice, fun car. Like I said, 383 four-speed, and the 383 is uh, pretty, pretty far from stock. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's a 69 HP 383 with a 509 cam, a torquer intake, a 750 Demon, and headers. And I'm not sure if the heads have had any work done, and I really don't know if it's stock pistons or not. I was just told that it was a very healthy rebuild, and it sounds pretty good. I've been working on dialing in timing and a few other things on it, making it run a little better. I still have some adjustments to do with the carburetor amongst some other things. Um, and I went through, and it turned out okay. I polished the paint on this found out that this is a uh, this is a base clear I originally thought that it was a single stage and then the other day I also drilled holes in the trunk lid which is always a, always a fun stressful job and added the correct 1971 style wing to the car so that's a nice little thing and then dual exhaust tips are just sitting there those are the uh, aftermarket two and a half inch exhaust tips and that's what this exhaust is is it's a uh, two and a half inch Flowmaster mandrel bent exhaust uh, really nice setup and wheels and tires it's got uh, wheels and tires that we put on it and they will probably be changing but for right now it's got uh, 15 by 8 Mopar rally wheels all the way around all four corners um, the rear tires are 275 60 15, and the fronts are actually a 255 60 15. So the front wheels are a hair too wide, and uh, the tires are definitely a bit wide and a bit oversized. But it's just what we had at the time, and it does look pretty good the way it is. Um, but the inside wheel weights actually were hitting the control arm, so that's obviously an issue and something we need to address as well as we're probably going to pick the front end of the car up minimum of an inch because it's sitting awfully low and obviously we don't want to have any suspension issues when driving it um, as far as getting it driving we have to figure out um, just put some interior stuff together the four speed stuff like i said but it needs the brakes fixed it has a leak in the system somewhere, and I don't really know where. I think I've located it to the front right corner because when it was sitting in the garage for a few days, there was a wet spot right there. So I think it's somewhere in the front right corner I'm going to have to look at. there's. I just put brand new wheel cylinders and lines in the, in the front, so maybe I just missed a fitting. Maybe something's loose. I don't know. Something to investigate, but it should be a reasonably quick car. Um, not terribly, terribly heavy, but, you know, 36 to 3,700 pounds, depending. I mean, it is a four-speed, so four-speeds are a little heavier. Um, this car has 323 open in it right now. This car originally was ordered with a 391 sure grip, so I'd like to find one of those to put back in it, but those are kind of hard to come by. I have a 373 I can put in it, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know what was going on with this, and uh, let me know what you guys think or what you would do, and we've got an air grabber hood that's hemi-orange already, so considering putting that on, let me know what you guys think, 
and uh, we're gonna get this car back together and enjoy it a little bit so hopefully you like that and I'll see you guys in the next video